the Lamborghini CM, $3.5 million, 0-60 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, and gives you a concussion every time you change gears, and that's how we like it. But how aerodynamic is it compared to other cars? To find out, we did this simulation. The flow is very well behaved over most of the car, mainly due to the CN's sleek and low profile. As the flow hits the nose, it gets split very crisply, resulting in no flow separation over the hood, which is good for drag. The windshield is almost at the exact same angle as the hood, which further helps the flow stay attached, and because the roof is so rounded, the flow has no problem staying attached there either. But once we get to the back, we get some premature flow separation, which is mainly due to the jagged features on the top, which look great, but aren't that aerodynamic. As such, the wake blows out more than expected. Several vortices form there, which isn't good for drag. The flow over the underbody is very well behaved though, and that is good for downforce, but because the wake is still fairly neutral, that overall, little lift or downforce is being produced, and in fact, the lift coefficient comes in at just 0.053. If we move to the right side of the car, the wake becomes much smaller, and that is partly because there is fast moving flow there, which goes over the side of the car and then gets redirected over the rear. That is good for reducing drag. And if we look from above, we can see just how localized the wake really is. Literally just behind the middle, the wake is bad, but either side of the car, it's very good. The flow around the front wheels is also very good. Usually you get some separation and vortices, but here, the flow is quite smooth and there is only one inflection in the streamlines. Around the rear wheels, the flow is very nice with not much of a wake at all. The rear edges of the car are angled nicely into the wake, which helps direct the flow into the wake region, which is also why we get such a small wake. Looking at the vortices, the Cyan is very impressive. There are literally no A-pillar vortices at all, which is really hard to do. There are vortices from the wheels, which happens. Those are really difficult to mitigate. But in the wake, there are only relatively small vortices. So the engineers have done a great job breaking up the large vortices into small ones. Looking at the drag over the car, it is clear that the only region producing substantial drag is the rear quarter of the car, which is due to the premature flow separation we saw earlier. The nose of the car does produce some drag, but it's okay. And the underbody is really reducing the drag because of its low clearance. It comes in at just 0.36, which is really good for a supercar. That rivals a Ford Fiesta. So if you're going to buy a Ford Fiesta, you should buy a Lamborghini Sian instead. Peace out, amigos.